Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's go to layer new and create new object. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. Click station tool and select all of them layers with that backgrounds and let's link to null object select null let's see so right now we can control all elements with null object and in this time select this hand main and go to pen behind move the anchor point down click station tool and select this hand tool also link to hand main select hand to go to solo and move the anchor point down Click station tool and unsolo. Select hand tool, press R. Let's see. Okay, right now we can make rotation like this and select shadow, link to hand main. And select phone layer, link to hand tool. And select these fingers finger one, finger two, three, four, and main. Let's link to phone and select phone. Let's see okay that's good and select finger main let's link to hand two select hand two let's see okay pretty good so in this time select this hand main and press s chain scale and move it down and press r open the rotation change rotation like this and create new rotation keyframe and change rotation minus 50 Go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down keyboard and change rotation 20. Go to 10 keyframes again and change minus 10. Again, go to 10 keyframes, change 5. Again, 10 keyframes, change minus 1. And go 10 keyframes, change 0. So there are more keyframes for bounce animation. Select all of them keyframes and make it easy or click F9. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. And in this time, select this hand tool and go to first second, press R, create rotation two frame, chain rotation, minus 20. And go to 10 two frames, change rotation like this. Go to 10 two frames, change rotation minus 8. Go to 10 two frames and change like this. Go to 10 two frames, change 0. And make it easy. Select rotation two frames. Hold Alt, move right. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select these fingers. And let's go to here. Select pen behind, move the anchor point down. And finger 2, move the anchor point here. And finger 3, move to here. And finger 4, move to like this. Okay, and finger main. Let's go to solo and move the anchor point down like this. Click station tool and unsolo. So select this finger one, two, three, four. Press R and go to here. Let's create new rotation two frame and go to ten two frames. Let's chain rotations like this. Go to ten two frames again. Chain rotations and here again chain rotations to down. And let's Q frame change like this and make it easy and select these Q frames. So let's move to right for random Q frames and this. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. So in this time, let's close Q frame settings and select finger main and go to the first second, press R, create rotation Q frame chain rotation like this and go to next 10 Q frames and let's chain rotation okay go to here again chain rotation and make it easy let's see and select these Q frames move to right Nice, I like it. So, in this time, let's select these 
layers and close two frames and go to ticks and right here ticks go to fs presses source effect drop shadow select drop shadow use for ticks and let's change opacity and distance so in this time go to window open animation comes 3 if you have not animation comes 3 i will add the link on description you can use and select text go to starter presets and transitions text layers animate characters and let's select for example overshot scale or this overshot okay that's good and click in and close window and move to right mark for slow animation let's see okay that's good select these text and link to null object and in this time let's select this null and i will use this null for fake camera movements press p create new position q frame go to here and move to right okay select q frames and make it easy go to graph editor select graph and make smooth animation let's see okay and back to two frames so in this time select this text let's go to edit and split layer and in this time let's double click for edit text let's double click for edit text and select this podcast text go to color airdropper let's use this blue and right now select these another hand layers let's enable and move to here and select this hand one go to anchor point down click station two and go to solo okay and hand two let's link to hand one and go to solo move the anchor point down click station two and unsolo select shadow link to hand one let's select hand one for left hand move the anchor point down hand 2 go to solo move the anchor point down clearization tool and unsolo and link to hand 1 and select this notebook link to hand 2 select x1 and x2 link to notebook in this time select this hand 1 press s and select hand 1 here press s don't forget link to hand 2 Okay, select these both hand one layers and change scales. Move to down. Okay, and select this hand, move to right. And select this text layer, move to behind of hand layers. So in this time, select this hand one and let's timing. Select this hand one, press P, go to here. Let's create new passing Q frame. Go to back and move to down. Hold shape, press R, create rotation cube frame, move to right and chain rotation like this. Let's see. And make it cube frames easy. Okay, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make smooth animation. Back to cube frames. And let's see timing. Select these cube frames, move to the left. Move to left more. Okay, and select this hand one. Let's go to here and press P. Create new passing Q frame. Go to back and move to down. Hold shift, press R. Create rotation Q frame. Move to right and chain rotation like this. And make it easy. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. I like it. And select two frames, go to graph editor and select these graphs. Make smooth graph animation. And let's go to three two frames. One, two, three. For go to frame by frame two frames, use page down keyboard and create new passing two frame. And go to 10 two frames. Let's move to up. And go to 10 two frames. Move to down. And go to 3 Q frames, create new passing Q, still animation, go 10 Q frames, 
again let's move to left and go to 2 Q frames, create new pass in Q frame, go to 10 Q frames and move right for draft X lines. And let's see. Nice. And in this time select this X layer and go to solo, go to pen tool and create new mask line. Clicization tool and go to FS process, source FX stroke. Select stroke, use for X to layer and change brush size choose paint style reveal original image and end zero let's unsolo okay here let's create end keyframe and go to here and change 100 let's see okay and let's go to here select is x1 and go to pen tool let's create mask line and glycation tool use stroke again and change pen style reveal origin image and brush size and change zero create and keyframe and go to next keyframe change 100 see okay select this x1 press u and make it easy And select Q frame, move to left. Okay, let's see. Nice. Okay, that's good. And for final, let's select this background for scene switch. Press T and create OPS Q frame and go to here, change OPS to zero and enable background yellow. Let's see. Okay, let's say again. Nice. And select background. Let's go to layer, new and create solid. Add the name grid. And click OK. And go to FS process, search effect grid. Use grid from generate for solid layer. And change size form with slider. Okay, and change opacity. Okay, that's good. Background colors are very good. I like it. In this time, select this null object. Let's see here. Okay, select this grid. Link to null object. Let's see. Okay, and go to FS process, search effect tile. Select CC repeat tile. Use for grid and change expand left for endless grid layer. Nice. And in this time, go to window, open animation composites 3, starter pre comps, open shape elements, and use particle firewall. Let's click add, close window, and let's move it up. Change scale. Let's control D, move to left. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. I like it. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.